All right, here we go. Salute to Knicks Nation on this Tuesday evening. Another edition of KFTV Post Game Live presented by Manscaped. CP the franchise, Alex Rotaro's here. On tonight's episode, we are hitting the music because on this night, the final night of NBA in season tournament group play. R.J. Barrett, Julius Randle, Jalen Brunson, they said, we want to do it for the little guys. We want to do it for the guys at the end of the rotation. We want that 500K, but they had to go out and take care of business and get a little bit of help. But Julius would lead by example with a dominant 25-point, 20-rebound effort. He had a great game by Josh Hart. Mr. I'm not involved in the offense with 17 points off the bench. Emmanuel quickly would pour in 23 off the bench as well. And with that, the Knicks have their eyes set on Las Vegas, ladies and gentlemen, with a 115-91 victory over the Hornets to advance to the knockout stage. The orange and blue are ready. It looks like the Knicks... And the Milwaukee Bucks are on another collision course. I mean, never mind the fact, Al, that they got to play each other uh, twice during Christmas week on December 23rd and (laughs) December 25th. They now have to play each other again, whether it will be at Fiserv or it'll be at MSG is yet to be determined. But looks like, uh, and right now Milwaukee's up by five with 20 seconds left in the fourth. So looks like we got to go to Milwaukee, man. If we want to get to Vegas, we got to go through Giannis and Dame. Your thoughts? I, I ain't afraid. Mm. I ain't afraid of that team. Talk, we talk almost had him, CP. Talk we about almost it. had that team. That defense stinks, okay? Yeah, yeah. I watched that team. Look, Dame Lillard is a turnstile on defense. Okay. They, they miss Drew Holiday. They miss, they miss Grayson Allen. I ain't worried about no Milwaukee Bucks. We were, okay. that, we were this close. We were this close with a 45 burger from Jalen Brunson. You think I'm worried about that team, CP? Yeah. It ain't the same team, okay? They're still, they're still trying to figure things out. We got continuity on our side. I want revenge, CP. I want I revenge. I want revenge. I want revenge, man. And there he is. That's the final. 131 to 124, the Milwaukee Bucks, winners of Group B, will face off against Mm. the Orange and Blue crew. We are ready for revenge. Um, When will that game be? Let's see. The Knicks will be in Toronto on December 1st. That's Friday. So I have to imagine. And the quarterfinals start Thursday the 7th in Vegas. Figure they need a couple days travel, a couple days media hype. So I would have to think that quarterfinal game would have to be Monday, probably, probably Monday. And we got to mm. start the we got to start the show and talking about the game, and and salute to Julius tonight because yes, it was a bum night, but we talked about Julius wanting this one for his team, mm-hmm. and he led with his effort, led with his effort on, on both ends. Dominant game tonight, twenty five points, twenty rebounds for Julius. Uh, he was attacking on the inside, which is what you certainly like. He was facilitating five assists, thought he was passing fairly well out of the double teams, making quick decisions, which you need him to do. He had a great night from Julius tonight. Outstanding night from Julius and and, uh, well-deserving to kick the show off with his performance. 25 points, 20 boards, dominant performance by Julius, all-star performance by Julius tonight. Monster performance. This is what you want to see from Randall, man. Like in the first quarter, you saw how he was getting downhill, how he was punishing opponents, whether it was defensively grabbing boards, whether it was on offense and just using his body to get to the cup. That's what you need to see from Randall. And look, last season, I've written about this in one of the many of my uh, previews for these in-season tournament games. Randall needs to be that first quarter guy again. They just have to find him. He averaged 9.1 points in the first quarter last year. He came second when with total points when it came to how many points were scored in the first quarter, right behind Luka Doncic. That's just that's got to be the bread and butter for this team, man. Because once he gets going, then everything can fall into place, and yeah. you saw that. Yep. And so I want to see more of Julius Randle attacking in the first quarter. I think that they need to go back to that. They got they went away from it. I get that he was struggling to begin this season, the season, the first four to six games. He's now back in rhythm. That's something the Knicks need to do. And look, after having slow starts against Miami. Uh, well, he had a strong start against Miami. I should say that. But then yeah. he started to wind down a little bit. A slow start against Phoenix. A real slow start against Phoenix. To see him come out that energized in this game where it mattered for something for the in-season tournament, 
that's what you'll have to see from a leader and from one of your top dogs. Let's not overlook Toronto on Friday. Nope. No fall asleep. Milwaukee, that's Dante's revenge game. Mm, mm, <laughs> talk about it. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> I don't know if we woke up with LaMelo out and then all of a sudden we said, all right, this is, we can't sleep like we did with Phoenix. Yo, uh, Alex, incredible Tibbs impersonation. <laughs> Five, man. <laughs> but always remember, Herm Edwards, you play to win the game. You play to win the game. Play to and win also, the game. If you play to win the game. Uh, hopefully, man, when we run it up points, Josh Hart won't get afraid and just <laughs> throws up shot. I got new reinvigorated inspiration here in, like, Triple OG, Clyde, and also Mike Green talk about how they was excited about the tournament. So <sighs> that, you know, that does something to old heads like me. I said, well, maybe it is something. All right. Maybe they should call it the Kobe. Take it right off the All-Star game, which is a bad haircut. Give it, give this winner instead of call it the IST. It sounds like a New York City defunct train line, man. <laughs> but anyway, my thoughts, my thoughts is like, listen, it, they got to play for something, man, to me. It's like 500000 when you spend a billion. What does that mean to the average fan that ain't seeing none of that? So I would say, like, automatic playing, but you got to win 42 games. If you win 50, then you get in the top four of the conference, right? I would say that that would make some kind of sense. Because, I mean, in the NBA, what they talk $500,000, they're still paying NBA players who ain't playing. Five hundred thousand dollars. So what does that mean to? Oh yeah, they're gonna win five hundred thousand. I, I think Eddie Curry still is getting paid, right? <laughs> he might. He said he might be. He said he might be. Back. Right, right. I was like, we got we got a man who can't play. He's getting nineteen million dollars. I mean, I, I mean, so telling us about money they're gonna win. I don't think that really drives the the vets. The vets. The vets are sleeping in November, man. They pacing themselves. You know, the vets they they're really gonna spark up. Come January, come February, you're going to see more Dame time in December, and you're going to see guys like Brooke Lopez and our man Bobby Porter start to like come out of their shells in December and January and February, and new energies and new cats are going to be jumping out of the gym in November and October like they should. But you know we got to separate the All Star game from Summer League. We get more ex- exciting out of the Summer League, so nobody really yeah. want to put their name on that. So, uh, yeah, man, so that's what I think. I said, I, now, but when I heard Mike Breen and Clyde talk about purists and how they was excited about what they were looking at, that sold me at 63. Rapid Fire, salute. Salute. Nick Nation, CP, Alex, and crew. Can't wait for the next broadcast. I'm out. Yes, sir. Salute to the Rhyme Animal, Chuck D. Closing the show. Always appreciate it, man. Always appreciate it. Salute to the Ryan Animal, bro. All right, man. Uh, so, yeah, we'll see you guys on Monday. Great show. Oh, we got one more super chat that came through. Let me make sure I salute that person. Hoodies. Shout out to Hoodies Vintage, man. Nice bounce back win. Let's keep racking them up. Let's do it. We'll see you guys tomorrow on uh, the NBA Report, man. CP and Alex, we out of here. Peace.